Hi, what's up guys? We're down here at the Xbox One booth and we've been playing some Xbox One games. Let's start with the controller. Now, the controller, of course, is going to be compared to both the Xbox 360 controller and the controller of the PlayStation 4. And to be perfectly honest, it's not really clear cut, in my opinion, which controller is better. It feels very different, actually, to the Xbox 360 controller. People are saying that, obviously, they wanted a small refinement. But I would say that the controller definitely feels quite different. It feels almost quite a bit longer. And it's harder to actually reach, in my opinion, the bumpers to the left and the right. Compare that to the PlayStation 4 controller, which has grown in size, but it definitely seems as if it feels a bit nicer in the hand. But the Xbox One does have some stuff up its sleeve. It does have rumble features actually built into the triggers and the triggers themselves feel a bit more responsive and the analog sticks also feel a lot more responsive than they did before. As for the graphics, Forza looks brilliant. It really does look really impressive. Compare that to Drive Club and they probably are about the same, but they both look fantastic so you don't have to worry about that. The console itself doesn't look as bad as it does in photographs, it's got to be said. It's probably arguably not as nice as the PlayStation 4 is, but it's not a big ugly box, it will fit fine and I've got to say that the Kinect sensor isn't actually as big as you think it is either. That said, whether I'd actually want it next to my television, I'm not sure. If you're looking at picking up an Xbox, remember that you get FIFA 14 free if you pre-order the day one edition and it's looking like it's quite good and comparing it to the PlayStation 4 is difficult as there isn't really a clear-cut winner.